Hello, Hello Internet. Internet! This is Piu Piu. And this is Azrod. And we're here to show you how a solar pancreas flight can make you more happy, make you more connected with yourself and nature while making you less anxious. Overall, how to live with less capitalism. The heat is finally coming down, and with it, rain season is upon us. With yesterday rain, we managed to fill this container with 300 liter more of water. This will save us a lot of time because we used to walk two hours to get water for us and the animals. Once the container is full, we are going to be digging pools so we can collect also water directly in the ground, which is really beneficial for the surrounding ecosystem. I have two chickens. This is Cassounet, the big Cassand rooster. And this is Jojoana, the first chicken we ever had, an apartment chicken. During the rain, the goat tried to climb on the tent, crushing it in the process. They ripped the door and put their poopy foot on it. Thankfully, nothing important was destroyed. So today we install a new tent and the old tent will be for the goats. Because apparently when you destroy something in human civilization, it's yours. I think that's called war. So now that you know about the tent that was just destroyed by the goats, did you know that we just built them a new shelter? Come take a look to this new three place goat shelter. Let's go. It has a really nice ruminating corner and some amazing extra escape in case of some goat-to-goat -goat aggression. The property even comes with its very own backyard, so you can expand your house and build some new place for maybe, who knows, sheep. And here, let me show you the place for the new tent. All the chickens decided to follow us. Look at how dense the vegetation is. It's such a nice forest that we have. Oh, hi, Azrod. How are you? I'm good. This is a great place to install a tent because as you can see, there are no trees just above, which greatly reduce the risk of being crushed to death by a branch. Additionally, you can see the difference in lagging between this part and this part where the goats haven't been yet. When this is young, it's kind of like asparagus. Unfortunately, when it grows old, it's stiffened with cellulose. Fortunately for us, the goats love cellulose and even eat the fruits filled with saponine, which we will use to make soap one day. That's it for today. We, we love, love you and appreciate you. you. Bye. See you. Bye.